Hello everyone, welcome to the Art Cellar of Houston. Today we will be working on this painting. We're going to be using these colors that are located in the Art is Happiness primary colors bag. Where can you get the bag? Where can we get the bag? That is an excellent question. ArtCellarHouston.com, then click shop. Scroll. And you're probably wondering, what's my name? Yes, what is your name? Pandalo, how are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, so you ready to get started? Yes. All right, let's do this. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Lowe. Welcome to the Art Cellar of Houston. This is Pandalo, my lovely yes. assistant. And we will be doing this painting right here. But when you open your art, um, art is happiness bag, you will first get yellow. Yes. Then you will get red. Uh-huh. Oh. Yes. Then you will get blue. Mm-hmm. Then you'll get white. Then you'll get black. And those are the colors for working with the day. We will be painting this painting like I already said. Excellent. So we're gonna do the kid version and the grown up version. Yes, we are. I can't wait to get started. So we'll yes. grab our paintbrushes. We all have two paintbrushes in our kit. There's one little uh, foam sponger and the then other one. A white brush. Yes, so one paintbrush and one yes. foam sponger. Her so to do the background, we're first going to get started with the um the colors that we want to. Correct. So we're going to get started with this brush. Correct. So we can dab it. Yes. So it looks like a special effect. But we can grab any colors. We'll yes. be working with yellow, blue. I mean yellow, red, uh, blue, and white and black like the colors that we showed you okay so let's get started yes all right so the color i'm going to start my background with are the primary colors i'm going to start off with yellow blue and red so you I'm, are going to start with i'm going to start with the america colors um red blue and white okay let's get started when i first get started i'm using yellow paint along the edge I'm going to draw out three koi fish, and I'm going to do that by drawing a frown, and then I'm going to turn it around and make it cross at the bottom. Okay, so there's one koi fish. There's two koi fish right here. And there are three koi fish total. Yes. Okay, so there's two. I would like to tell you something. And then, During the painting, mm -hmm. we will take breaks just to let you know, and we will tell you more about art. And I will give a snack. <laughs> okay. Once you have your three koi fish painted in, you can start by mixing your colors together. Here, I'm going to mix together yellow and red to get this nice little peachy color off to the side. Now, the colors at my studio are a little richer, so they're gonna be more of an orangey, orangey color, but the colors we're using here from the bag come out to a peachy color. So I'm going to do little lines whenever I'm going down on this canvas. A couple of things to remember is that we encourage everyone at the Art Cellar of Houston to make it your own. Put your own personality into it. And you can also, at the own art cellar, you can do whatever you want for any painting. Well, sort of. That's yeah, what make you it your still, own means. You, you can put your own colors into have it. To do your own, you still have to do the painting, but you can put your own colors into it. Colors, and your own objects, your subject can, matter. Mm -hmm, and anyone can come to the art cellar except under the age four. Correct. That under is correct. Under the age four, they'll try to eat the paint. <laughs> So yes, you cannot, <laughs> you can't not bring under the age four people. Correct. But you can bring level four people too. Okay. All right. So what here? What her? What she was just talking about? When we say that we want you to make it your own, check out what we're doing here. So I started with my colors of yellow up at the top, and then I moved down to that peachy color, which is. Uh, red and yellow mixed together. Then I came down here and did straight red. You'll see some red over here. 
and then we went with red and blue mixed together a little bit more red than blue so you'll get that red violet color merging down into a darker purple and we'll merge it over here into more blue uh, violet and then up to blue green and then yellow green over with panda low we can see she's got a nice rainbow action going in the background and her fish is already drawn in she's doing really well and we're gonna keep working on these backgrounds till they're completely finished. In the meantime, we're gonna take our snack break and move to the next level. So we've just had our snack break and we've finished our background. Painting is a series of layer upon layer upon layer. And so we've already added that first layer, we let it dry, and now we're gonna work on our second layer. To do the second layer, I'm gonna get started here with yellow. We're just gonna put straight yellow on top of this layer of yellow and blue. Once I'm done filling in this area and this area with straight yellow, I'll come back with yellow and blue mixture and yellow and red mixture over here to do that second layer. And I am seven. Let's check out our progress. Here's Sarah's painting. This is the adult version, how we're coming along. Remember, we're using the primary and secondary colors. We're mixing them all together to make this nice little um, color wheel of effect on the background and our pandalo here she is working fast and furiously and doing a nice variety of color and nearly done and look i used to be here mm -hmm. and here and here and here and here and here and it grew over so that's what you can do with your paintings you can start with one color then keep going and keep going and you can just go faster in paintings like that like I kept growing until I got here and here and here. Now I am almost done with my backpack, background I mean. <laughs> and then once we're done with our background, we're both gonna do the fish. Then once we're done with the fish, we're gonna reveal what our true paintings look like. Nice. Are you ready for that? We're ready. Now here's a little technique for those of you who would like um, a more textured look. Like you can see right here how the paint bubbles a little. Whenever you grab the paint, I'm gonna come over here, so you'll grab a little bit of paint here. Okay, so you've got a nice little dollop of paint. You'll come onto your canvas and you'll just kind of twist your brush. Move it in a different direction and try to leave some of that paint onto your canvas. You can go in various ways, various forms. And if you're looking for that real bumpy texture, that will give it to you. You might have to do a couple of different layers, but it will definitely work and add a little bit of fun. We are gonna show you that it does take quite a bit of time to do these paintings. It is not yes. a quick, quick fix. Um, this painting overall takes about two hours to do for adult and children. And this is on an eight by 10 canvas or an 11 by 14 canvas, depending yes. on what size you go for. But I paint pretty fast, but not as fast as my mommy. So it won't take us as like two hours, but I think it's been two hours. I don't know yet. But um, my painting is almost done. I, you can come look at it. Come look okay. at it. So as you can see, my painting is almost done. It did not take time. It did not take a lot of time though, because we went fast. But it takes time in real life to do this version. <laughs> it's overall. Because, it's going to take yes. us about two hours to get this painting accomplished. Yes. So let us continue working, and we'll be back to you shortly. Yes. So I am clearly done with my painting. I hurried because I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna get a snack. But yes. I'm just going to keep you updated because the art seller of Houston does not take people under four. I am sorry about that. I already know that. But, you don't yeah. yeah, I don't want to put the shame on you. No pressure. There is so much pressure. So much. So much pressure for what? For nothing. I said no pressure. I said no pressure. So much pressure. So much. Our background is now done and we're going to start working on the fish. I, for this fish right here, I mixed together a combination of blue, red, and a little bit of black. So it's giving me a nice deep, deep, dark blue color. And I'm going to use the regular blue color as its secondary coat. Yes, and I am not going to be in this video anymore because I... 
So one of the things I noticed whenever we were painting the fish is that the color was too dark. Don't be afraid to go back and, and lighten up the color or darken the color. Do what makes sense for your painting and for you. Um, a lot of times I'll start with one color and realize that just doesn't quite work. So think about those types of things. Once you get started, it's always okay to adjust while you're moving along. For the yeah. fins, for the fins, you just want to take your brush, close to your canvas, lift up, lift up, and lift up. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. They don't have to be going the same way. We're just creating little fins. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna draw the eyes. Just think of the letter C whenever you're doing these eyes, okay? And then fill it in, or maybe a backwards D. So we've got one eye there. We're gonna do another eye on this side. And I did water down the black paint just slightly. Um, you really want to have an easy surface. And then for the very end, you put a little bit of white on top of that eye. We're gonna do it on all the fish and then we'll come back and show you the final result. All right, so now we're gonna put the little white on the eyes. A little white here, a little right there. Not too, too much, it's just a nice little reflection. I'm gonna add more white and draw the little fins right here. We'll do one, two, three. Like I said before, this is going to be very simple. We don't want to do anything complicated here. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, I'm Panda Jet, but I'm going to be leaving, so would you like to say any thank yous, Mommy? <laughs> um. Hi, everyone. So, I'm going to be leaving the video. Thank you so very much for being my guest today. I really enjoyed having Pandalo. Yeah. Bye. Thank you for joining me. And let's take a look at your picture and let's take a look at my picture and see the final product. Okay. Put them next to each other. Product. This is our final product. We've got Pandalo's painting here mm -hmm. and Sarah painting here. Now I'm going to add some more little bubbles and maybe some wavy lines in the water so it gives it a little extra final touch. But that's it. And that took right at two hours to complete. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, email, or comment below. Artsellerhouston at gmail.com or you can reach us at 832-596-7983. We'll be happy to guide you through whatever obstacles that you found while doing this painting. A lot of the obstacles that you may come across are simple items. You know, how do you make the shape of the eye or how do you make the shape of the fin? Uh, we'll be happy to guide you through any of those techniques or ones that we haven't thought of. Um, and that's it. You guys have a great day and thanks for joining us. Here's our final product with bubbles and wave lines. Remember to follow us on social media, artsellerhouston.com, or you can comment below with how you like this class. And by the way, my mommy does not know that comments are turned off, so you cannot comment unless it is a grown-up video. Oh, got it. Now I know. Thanks, Pandalo. You're welcome. One more shot of her painting. And ours. This painting is definitely for kids or adults. Anyone can do it. Make it your own. Art is happiness. See you soon.